I'm so excited to share all of the exciting changes we have in the planners for 2024. To start, we have a ton of different versions you can choose from. There are actually 20 versions total in both portrait and landscape across 10 different weekly layout options. Our download guide will take you through the process of choosing your version and make it super quick and easy to download the version you select. And of course, you'll always have that guide to refer back and download any of the other versions throughout the year. I've also introduced a brand new calendar scheduling integration that works with the apps on your iPad to create calendar events, set reminders, schedule timers, send emails, and more. So stay tuned for the details on that. When you first open your planner, you'll be taken through this welcome section, which runs you through all the details, including where the links are located, how to navigate, your planning and bonus pages, and then it leads you up to your goal clarity roadmap. Now, this is a complete guided system designed to take you from lack of clarity and overwhelm to complete focus and having the ability to set really mindful goals. So each of these steps links out to a series of templates and you're able to quickly navigate through the templates through this top navigation bar. So once you finish all of these, you'll be in a place, like I said, to set those really mindful goals based on your priorities and the time you have available. And you can set your goals here. You have space to set up to 12 really high level, larger goals. Now, each of those goals have three linked planning pages. You have your goal plan, which allows you to really detail out all of the milestones. You also have a Gantt view, which is for more of that timeline focused planning. And then you also have the supplemental progress planning view. Now, this one I like using in conjunction with the goal stickers included with your sticker set. And it's an interactive view that allows you to write tasks on individual cards and drag them through the process. So again, this progress and Gantt view are nice supplemental views. And then you have your goal plan to really break down your goal. Now you can easily navigate back to these pages through the little icons on the bottom right of your menu bar. Now you can see for this specific walkthrough, we are using the shortcuts planner. So this is a link to your shortcut, which I'll show you in a minute, but you can easily jump back to your goal page and your goal clarity roadmap through the menu. So let's jump down now into our calendar pages. We now have expanded annual pages for 2024, 25, and 26. So all of the pages I'm showing you here, you have a dedicated one for each of those three years. Now this standard year at the glance for the 2024 dates, since this is a 2024 planner, you're actually able to tap down into any day week or month directly from this page. So it's really easy to navigate through from there to your dated pages. Now we also have a key dates page. You have a quarterly view, a wish list, a tracker. This is great for cycle tracking or mood tracking across your year, a health, finance, and a dedicated note page, great for taking random notes, creating a vision board. So you do have these pages, like I said, for each of these three years, which is really great for future planning so that you can plan beyond 2024 and capture some of the most important details coming in future years here in this planner. And you can see it's really easy to toggle between bonus pages and years. So let's jump down to our monthly pages here. Now for each month of the year, you have a dedicated page and we also have some bonus pages as well. Let me move forward to February, which is just a blank page here. And what you can see, since I am showing you the version with shortcuts, I have these extra icons here for calendar scheduling. 
So we'll get into what those are in a minute. If you have the iOS shortcut version, you'll have those extra links. If you don't, you'll just have plain without those icons. So on your calendar page, you're able to jump down into any week or day of the month simply by tapping. So we tap here on February, and when we tap on a date, we're taken to that daily page. Now, we also have a number of bonus pages as well. So running through January here, we have our calendar page, then we have a reflection and planning page, which is going to keep you really focused on your goals. You have a monthly tracker with a place for both habits and tracking on a spectrum, such as high mood, low mood, high energy, low energy, and you can check off where you are on that spectrum. You have your monthly finance, which works really well back with that annual finance to keep a high level on the, your financial health. And then your blank page, again, for note-taking, vision boarding, anything you might need. So from our calendar page here, we can then also tap down to our week. Here's again an example of a filled out week. Now you have a ton of different weekly layout options. There are two different weekly layout options for the portrait version and eight for the landscape version. So this is the week that I really like to use. It's the dashboard week. And when we go in here, we can tap down to any day and then we can easily tap back to the week. So again, on our week, we have bonus pages. We have this calendar view. We have this plan view, which is great for meal planning, assignment tracking. I like designating each of these streams for a specific category, maybe even a specific project you're working on, and then write the tasks down through there. So if you're using it for meal planning, you know, you can label it breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack one, snack two, and label it from there. Your weekly focus really links back to goal setting. This is all about getting clear on what you're going to pursue in the upcoming week. Then you have wellness, a list view, and your note blank page for your week as well. So you can see there is a ton here, a ton of bonus pages. Remember, just use the pages that are helpful to you and ignore the rest. Now, jumping down, the last group of dated pages we have is our daily page. So you can see you have an area for your top priorities, a to-do list, a schedule, and then this blank sidebar, which is great for making it your own, or you can add a sticker, which I will show you in a minute. We go back to our week here. I can actually show you a daily page that's filled out. I love doing time blocking in the schedule. It really keeps me on track. And then what you can see here is this is a sticker placed here. So the new feature for the planners is this new iOS shortcut scheduling integration. Just a reminder that is only available on iPads. So if you use an Android or other tablet, go ahead and stick with the classic version of the planner. But just to give you a quick glance at what this looks like, if you want to see additional details on really how to make the most of the scheduling shortcuts, I have a whole video on that. But for now, I'm just going to show you some quick views of what you can do. So if I tap on this icon here, I'm gonna be prompted with opening a, an external link. That's something we'll always see from GoodNotes. You can see it's actually pulling up a list of all of my appointments scheduled to my calendar for the next month. And then if I tap on this button here, it's actually gonna open up my calendar in another view if I want to look at my calendar and reschedule things. Now, we also have these plus buttons on the days. And if I tap on a plus button, it's actually going to bring up a view for me to schedule out a calendar event. Now it starts with an all day, but I can adjust the time. I can invite people, change the calendar. So that's on your month. Now, if we tap down to our weekly view, I can view my calendar also. 
I can schedule an event just like I showed you. And then on our daily page, we actually have a lot of linking happening here. I can go through and add a reminder from anything in this list. So I just grabbed this. I could copy and paste that into the reminder box and I can even choose to be alerted at specific times. Now, what we also have on our calendar, up here we have the ability to open up our calendar, schedule an all-day event, or you actually have linked to every hour slot some scheduling links which will feed through the actual time, right? So I have Yoga Flow. If I wanted to schedule it on my calendar, you can see it's pulled it up with the times pre-filled for me. And all I have to do is paste in the text and invite anyone I need to and save it and I'm done. And then one final integration that you have, this is actually on every page of the planner. I mentioned this earlier. This action button brings up a menu. And so this is great no matter where you are in the planner, you can pull this up. Now this menu allows you to create a new event, add a reminder, you can set an alarm for a specific time, set a timer. I love to do that when I'm in focused work mode or send an email. It actually opens a little dialog right on the screen where you can write your two. It's great for a quick message if you just need to send a quick note to somebody while you're in the flow of planning. So I'm really excited about these links. I just think it's a great way to take quick actions while staying in the flow of planning. You're not having to switch windows. It's really easy to copy and paste from this layout into your calendar. So again, if you want to see more of this in action, I'll link the iOS shortcuts video below this one. Now, a couple other exciting updates we have for this year. I've now pre-filled your note sections. So when you go into your section divider, rather than just having that single divider page, you actually have a bunch of linked pages directly after that one. Let's try to get good notes to pull that up for us. Here we go. So you actually have all of these blank pages right after that you can fill any way that you want. So the great thing about this is for organization, you can write out the title of your section and actually write out what you have on each page and quickly tap to that page rather than having to thumb through. So for example, if I want to just jump to the first page, I can tap there and I'm taken to that page. Now these are blank pages and you can easily add page overlays over them. So we'll start running into the sticker book here for me to show you this. If you use GoodNotes, you'll have this sticker book included. If you don't use GoodNotes, you also have access to all of the PNG files, all organized into zip folders. And so it makes it really easy to use the stickers if you don't use GoodNotes as well. So we have these full page overlays and these are really great for making the most of your blank pages. I can easily cut that and paste it right here. And you can see then it's on my page and I've basically converted this to a lined page for me. So then when I jump back to my sections, I can jump into the third page or the first, I now have that lined page. So the sections are really improved in that sense. And then the other big improvement we have is to your template pages. I added a ton of new pages. Last count, I think there were more than 85 templates. And to help you navigate all those template pages, we now have category pages as well. So you tap down into that and it's gonna give you a thumbnail, making it really easy to kind of browse and select. And I can jump between the different sections here. So the home and entertainment, there's a lot of new ones here. Movie log, pet care tracker, watch list, series tracker. And it makes it really easy to kind of shop through your templates, trip planners, anything you might need. It's really easy to copy those pages and add them to your custom sections. Now, before we close up here, I want to show you the sticker book. As I mentioned, this is available for GoodNotes. If you don't use GoodNotes, I have these all organized for you so you can use these stickers no matter what app you use. 
Now, if we go into our monthly widgets, you can see this is one of the things that really sets my planner apart. You're able to really update or change your monthly, weekly, and daily pages through these custom designed widget stickers. For example, if I wanted to make my right-hand column a habit tracker, I could just copy this here and jump down into my month and I can paste that and it fits perfectly here for me so that all I have to do is place it and it's done and I'm set to track my habits. Now, similarly, you have these, these labels, which also work in that column. Now getting into our daily stickers, you saw that on the daily page example I had, but you have tons of ways to update it with a focus on gratitude, intentions, wellness, even changing just the line height. And then you also have these schedule blocks to change the scheduling of that middle column and some labels for the, the daily pages as well. Now your weekly overlays, these work really well, these larger ones with the vertical column weekly layout. I have that noted in the download guide, but these are really optimized to work over that full column weekly layout option you have. But a lot of these other smaller ones work really well in say the version that I really like using, which is the dashboard layout. So you can see over here, if I was to jump down to this, this week, I can paste this there. And you can see that that's kind of transformed it into a water tracker section. And same with these footers as well. I can add this in and even just cover up a portion of this other layout. And then I have a meal tracker built in. So this is super convenient and it's very easy to customize your pages as needed. You have some wellness workouts, just some blank lists. Now these are getting into more of labels and decorative stickers. So all of these are individually placed on the page, some flags and trackers notes. You also have uh, these other lined notes. And these overlay boxes are great for time blocking. These have a transparency to them. And then your sticky notes, which have this fun realistic shadow effect. And these are really great for combining. You can put these in here, resize them to fit. And you can get really creative here with how you combine different stickers and really essentially make your own sticker sets. Now you have both the outline shapes and the filled shapes with this white background, which looks really great to create your own labels. And then you also have icons, which work really well with the shapes. You can combine them and again, kind of create your own custom stickers. Now, looking at our overlay pages, we have the lined one, you have grid, dotted, and then you also have all of these decorative labels, more. Again, these work great with the icons to combine. And then these are your goal stickers, which I mentioned work in conjunction with your goal view with that Kanban progress view. Now the planner also comes with some bonus covers. For these, you can quickly change out the first page of your planner to any of these bonus covers to change the look and feel of the thumbnail in your library and express your own unique style. It also comes with a Q3 2023 mini planner with dated pages through the end of the year so that you can get started on your planning right away. I hope this overview has been helpful and as always, please feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. You can get the link to shop the planners in the video description as well. Thanks so much for watching.